Hi everyone, and welcome to another session of Otis for Educators. I'm Joe Quadrino. And I'm Brandon Andrade. And we're both curricula specialists here at Tech. Today you are joining us for a Microsoft Teams overview focused on parents. As a parent, what will you see when your students are using Microsoft Teams? And if you have any questions, feel free to hit the Ask Otis button on the side of your screen, and a member of our team will get back to you as soon as possible. Great. Let's take a look at the agenda and get started. Okay, so the focus of this course is for the parents. Your student is remote learning, potentially. Their teacher is sending them work using Microsoft Teams. You have questions, and these questions most likely are, what is Microsoft Teams? We need to understand what this is. Where are the notes? If you want to be able to help your kids, you need to know where the notes are. Where is the homework? We need to know what our students need to complete. And can I ask the teacher a question? These are the questions that you probably have as a parent. We're going to go over the answers today. So let's start off by talking about what is Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams is a Microsoft Office 365 app. Your student is probably using Office 365 in their classroom if they're being, used, if they're being told to use Microsoft Teams at home. Now this app, Teams, is where a teacher can send notes, classwork, and assignments all digitally. So even though your student is not in the classroom, your teacher or your student's teacher is going to be able to send them all of the notes and assignments they need digitally through Microsoft Teams. The students can submit these assignments digitally as well. So the students can send things back. And one of the best features about Teams is it allows for video conferencing between the teacher and students, or maybe even a parent and the teacher, along with the students. So with Microsoft Teams, you have a place where the teacher can send files to students, a place where students can send the files back, and a place where they can interact with each other, even if it's not in a classroom. They can use this video conferencing. So that's Microsoft Teams. What we're going to do now is we're going to head over to the computer, and we're going to look at how you can access Microsoft Teams. So your student, more likely than not, or if they're using Microsoft Teams, they definitely have a login for office.com. Now they're going to sign in. I'm going to sign in with my student account. Text student 4 is actually already saved, so I'm just going to put in the password. You as a parent are definitely going to want to learn your student's information, their login information, especially if they're of a younger grade. Uh, make sure they have that information written down. They can't forget that's important information. But once they get to this screen, this is kind of like their home page for Office 365. All right, notice this is for all of Office 365. They can find other files here like a Word document or Excel. But for today, and for what we're talking about today, is focusing on Microsoft Teams. That's this app right over here. We want them to click into this app. And this is going to bring them to their team page, or if they have more than one team, their teams page. So let's head over back to the, uh, to the presentation. We're going to go over the important question, where are the notes? So that's Microsoft Teams. We just saw how a student logs into Teams. Now we need to find out where are the notes. So let's take a glance. We already saw this. The student logs into Teams app, office.com. Make sure you know that login information. As a parent, that might be important to ask your student have it written down somewhere. Once you're in Teams, you need to select the intended class. Now, I'm using the word class because that's probably what you're familiar with as a parent. In Microsoft, they're calling it a team. So your student might be in four different teams for four different classes. Maybe they have their math team, their language arts team, their social studies team, their science team. It depends on what teachers are using Microsoft Teams with your student but they are called Teams in Microsoft. Once they select their team, you're going to look for the Class Notebook tab in the top toolbar. That's going to be where you find all of the content that the teacher has sent to the students, like notes, handouts, etc. And you'll find all of this within the content library of the Class Notebook. So we want to find the content library that's going to be where the notes are. Let's take a look in the, on the computer. All right, so we're heading back into Teams. 
Now, this student here only has one team, all right? If they only have one team, it's the Otis team. We're gonna click on it, and that brings us to the team homepage. To find the notes, we are gonna head up here to the class notebook, all right? Once we click on class notebook, it's going to bring us to this page here that is gonna give you some tips and advice in the student as well. We need to make sure that we select this menu right here because this is gonna give us access to the full notebook. Where the notes are is in the content library. This is where the teacher is going to input stuff for the students for them to look at and do work. Your teacher or your student's teacher is probably going to have different folders for different stuff. So for example, there's a tab here for March coursework. Everything they need for March is right here. Here they have a reading and questions for March 17th. So again, this is where the notes are. March 17th reading, this is what your student needs to be looking at. It's a PDF file right in the page and they can just scroll in view. All right, this is where the notes are. It's in the content library and then further organized however your teacher sees fit. What we're gonna ask next is how, where is the homework? So let's head back to the computer. Let's head back to our presentation so we can answer this question. Where is the homework? Let's jump into it. Where is the homework? Well, we want that student to go back to the class page, that team page. If they're looking for your math homework, you wanna to go to the math team and et cetera, et cetera. In that, class pad, in that class page, we're looking for assignments, which is also in the top toolbar. So we're looking for the assignments tab. It's right next to the class notebook. And that is going to be where the teacher uh, submits all the assignments the students need to complete. They're also gonna have due dates with them so that the teacher or the student can understand when things are due. You wanna pick the specific assignment and then see the details in order to learn more about it. That assignment might have an attachment to it, a file. It might have a different due date or a rubric. All that important information that as a parent, you're definitely gonna to wanna to look at if your student's having trouble with the work. So let's head back to the computer and let's see what that assignments tab looks like. All right, so heading back to our home page here. Remember, this is where we start off on this posts page. We wanna make sure we're in the right team. All right, remember, let's say this is the math team, Otis team here, that's the class we want. So we're gonna go up to assignments right up here. When we click on assignments, we see here that there has been one thing assigned, this bias reading questions. And look at that, it says right there when it's due. This is due tomorrow at 11.59 p.m., all right? So we wanna make sure our student completes it before then. So we can actually click on the link here and this is gonna send us back to our uh, class notebook that we just saw earlier, the March 17th questions. And here is this page in the notebook where they can just answer the questions. What was the reading about? It was about bias and obviously they would type more. When they're all done, they can hit close up here at the top. And when they're ready, like we said a second ago, they can turn it in, all right? So that is where the homework is. All right, so we're gonna head to our last topic of the day, can I ask the teacher a question? Now this might apply to you, the parent. It might also apply to the student. If your student has a question for the teacher, how can they contact the teacher? Well, let's take a look at how we can do that. And one of the great features about Microsoft Teams is video conferencing. And that's what we're gonna focus on today. If we want to video conference to ask the teacher a question, we want to see if our student's teacher has a scheduled video meeting. The way we're gonna do that is by selecting the calendar feature in the left toolbar, and then we'll check the calendar for meetings. Now remember, your student might have a few different classes. Their calendar is going to have all of their classes meetings in there, so maybe for Friday, they see, ooh, I have a 10 o'clock meeting with my math teacher, and then at one o'clock, I have a meeting with my science teacher. It's gonna be in the same calendar, even though it's on different Teams. That's a cool feature of Microsoft Teams with the video conferencing meetings. Now, if your teacher has something scheduled, that's the first thing you're looking for. Maybe your teacher has office hours, where they say, you know what? Every day at nine o'clock in the morning, I'm going to be available for questions. 
and there's a meeting time set in that calendar, whereas you, the parent or the student, could video conference with the teacher at 9 o'clock for these office hours. That's something that a lot of teachers are doing with remote learning, something to keep an eye on. Another way, and let's say you have the question as a parent, that's not necessarily office hours time, you want to try to set up a meeting with the teacher, you can actually schedule a meeting as well. You can schedule a meeting with the teacher by again selecting the calendar in the left toolbar, and then you can select new meeting and then input the important details, the time, who you want there, what it's about, etc. Now your teacher may not be, not, not every teacher might be receptive to you know, having these meetings set up for them, but at least it gives them the notification, of, hey, you know, uh, Billy's mom, he wants a meeting, maybe I should uh, email her, schedule something up. You might also even be able to contact your teacher to get you included into the team itself, have the parent email into the Microsoft team, that might be something your teacher's willing to do. There's a lot of ways to contact a teacher, but let's head to the team's website to show you what that meeting looks like. All right, so. We go back to our Teams page. We're gonna head back to the home page here, and we want to see where we can find the meetings. I mentioned before the left toolbar in the calendar. That's right over here. Notice how it's not in the team page. Because remember, you could have multiple teams, but your student's only gonna have one calendar. If I click on that calendar, it's gonna show the schedule for the week. We notice here that it looked like this student had a meeting on Tuesday with one of their teachers. And that's the only thing they had scheduled. If their teacher had another, uh, if it was Tuesday at this time, if they were to click on that meeting, they would be able to join the meeting and their teacher would presumably be in there ready to video conference. And if you have a webcam or audio set with your computer, obviously that's gonna be necessary to video chat or um, chat at all, but there is a chat box as well, so a student can even type text in and you know text with the teacher as they're video chatting. So there's definitely opportunities for every kind of communication within this meeting. Now, let's say you want to schedule a meeting. You can go up here to New Meeting. And when you click New Meeting, you'll be able to schedule a meeting with whatever title you want. Maybe you want the math teacher to show up, so you type in the math teacher's name the date, what it's about, et cetera. All right? This is where you, as the teacher or as a student, can schedule this meeting. All right? So all of these important features are to communicate with the teacher. But to help the teachers out, I want to show you a few last quick things within the team page that might be useful to you. If I was a teacher using Microsoft Teams, I would take a use of these two features that, as a parent, I would want to know of. The first is these channels on the left. So for certain students, maybe uh, particular groups of students, I might put them in a particular channel, like this group AA. Not every student is involved in group AA, just a small group. And this would be for important information for a small group of students. Maybe my enrichment students, to give them that enrichment work over the course of the week, that might be in this specific channel where not every student has access to. So if you see that your student has access to channels over here in this menu, that's something to know. The general is just the whole class, the whole team. These channels, these other ones right here, that is just for your specific student, something to keep an eye on. The last thing I want to point out is up here, in this top bar, there's a grade book, which you can keep an eye on, but also a teacher can add specific files that they feel are very important for their students to know. For example, this teacher has put a checklist for the week for students that they need to complete. This is something the teacher put in this toolbar for a reason. This one particular file they added to the top toolbar. That means it's really important. So as a parent, if you see a file in this top toolbar, you should probably want to know what's in it so that you could help your student and make sure they know it's there as well. All right. So these are all the important features for Microsoft Teams. And let's close it out. All right. I want to thank everyone for joining this course, particularly those parents out there giving this overview of Microsoft Teams. I want to thank Brandon for moderating. Thanks for having me. And I want to thank Marcello behind the camera, doing great work. If Remember, if, if you want to gain credit for the course, you can take the quiz and the survey using the link below. And if you have any questions, make sure to hit that Ask Otis button, and someone on our team will help you out. For all of us here at Tech, your smart kids, I believe in you. Have fun, be safe.